Yeah, we're fishing um, out on the bar um, between the first marker and the breakers. And um, then the tide was just getting a bit slack and we're moving around a bit and then um, a 9kg um, gas bottle came, you know, like maybe 10 or so metres behind the back of the boat. And then um, it went one way and then come back the other way against the tide, like really quick. And I said to my dad, I guarantee there's a, a shark on the end of that. And then um, he managed to get his line in. I didn't get mine in and I actually hooked the nylon where the gas cylinder actually was. And then um, it started heading around the front of the boat towards the anchor a little bit more and I said, my dad, I'm not happy with this, so I cut my line. And within a few seconds of cutting the line, the uh, Great White breached within two metres of the boat, like straight up and down, full out of the water, yeah, and landed. I yelled, and my dad, um, he actually turned around, he didn't, he didn't really see the whole thing, but uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a big fish. It, it, sort of was, it sort of was a surprise too, because it was, you know, it shocked me that it was, you know, just give me a bit of a fright so close, but yeah. Yeah, and a week later, yeah, saw another one, just a smaller one, about a metre and a half, breached the water, took our middle line as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been fishing there for, you know, 30, 40 years at least on that bar, yeah. I think there's a few, most fishermen and everything probably don't mind it as much, but a few, yeah, um, as there's a big meeting of the boat club and they had a couple hundred people, so I think if you're, you know, if you're a keen fisherman, and apparently the ski lane is the worst spot that it could be on, and other than that, I think, um, yeah, just, we've just got to live with them, they're here at the moment, eh, so, hmm.